Okay, we're on the other side of the engine now. We're going to take off the uh, sub-transmission. That's the, uh, the one that has the uh, high and low speed. And to start off, we'll take off these four screws, and then we'll take the cover off. And these screws are going to be on really tight. Okay, the screws are off now. And for some reason, one of them was a little longer. It was, it was the one in the, uh, the upper right-hand side. Now we'll take the cover off. Okay. Well, the right-hand side one already came off. Gear, the shaft, and there's a doll pin here. Okay, um, now we'll do the uh, low speed gear, and it looks like there's a bearing here, I didn't see that in the manual. And then we'll take the shift fork, the shaft, and the low speed gear off as an assembly. Okay, so there's the low speed gear, here's the shift fork, and here's the shaft. Okay, there's a snap ring holding the high-speed gear in, so uh, that snap ring will come off next. Okay, this is the sur clip that was holding the, um, the high-range gear in. Next, there's a spline washer that comes off. It's like this, has some splines on the inside. Drive socket bushing next. Okay, now I'm going to take off the uh, the neutral indicator here, and there's a little, there's a little circlet that holds it on. Here they are. Okay, now I'll take the, uh, the center flywheel bolt off with a 14 millimeter socket. Okay, and there's a washer too. Thick one. Next we get the flywheel puller and we pull off the, uh, off the flywheel. And this Just enough to receive buzz. We want it too tight. Can strip the threads. Okay, it's coming off. There's a Woodruff key in here. Want to find that? Should be in the spline on the uh, on the shaft here. Shift. Okay, and here's that Woodruff key that was in the uh, that slot in the uh, crankshaft and the slot on the uh, flywheel that lines up there. Okay, and next we take off the stator. There's three bolts here holding it on. And here's the wiring harness. We'll slide the, or the wiring. We already unplugged it from the wiring harness. Okay, next time we're going to remove the, um, 
left side crankcase cover. Okay, I got it broken loose with a rubber mallet now. I need to take that screw back out. So let's see what's in here. Yes, get back here, holding it. Okay, well, here's the bottom of it. I don't see any washers or anything falling loose. Looks like there's a seal here. Must be one here, too. And there's the cam chain. We can probably take that off now. Okay, now we can uh, slide off the uh, the front uh, drive chain. It goes on, it goes on this way, and the next step is to remove the cam chain tensioner. Uh, this one sprocket will just slide right out. Please. And then there's a, um, we'll, take this, we'll take this lock nut off and unscrew this bolt here next. Okay, here it is. There's a little bolt and the uh, lock nut and there's an O-ring in there. Okay, now on the, on the bottom of the engine, there's some more of the cam chain tensioner. We'll take this bolt off next. Okay, the engine's upside down now. And I just unscrew the uh, this part here is a flathead screw, and under that there's a spring. And there's another spring inside that rod. Okay, the next step will be to take these three shiny screws off, and um, that'll remove the uh, rest of the cam chain tensioner along with this uh, wheel. Okay, I remove those three screws, and uh, they're right here. And the three screws hold down these three clips. Notice one of the clips is different. This one here. It just has a little bump on the bottom. And it goes on the left. There's a place for it. It'll be obvious where it goes. And the other two are like this. And the little lip will go down. And they, they hold the, um, the tensioner down. So it can slide under those clips. Okay, whoops. The tensioner just, just slides right off after you take the three screws off. Okay, back on the bottom of the engine, we took the uh, cam chain tensioner. There's a little uh, light aluminum uh, uh, washer. Okay, here's the cam chain tensioner laid out the way it was when it was in your engine. Okay, um, this is the uh, uh, cam chain. This end of the top goes around your uh, camshaft, camshaft 
sprocket and there's a sprocket on the end of your uh, crankshaft on this end that drives the chain. Okay, this that was actually upside down. It's like this, stuck in a hole in the engine. Okay, this sprocket. Okay, if the cam ch chain starts getting a little loose, you want to turn it this way to tighten it up. Okay, and that's done by loosening up this screw here, and then release the side of this, and then the spring will push this this up a little bit. Okay, and then then you tighten the screw back up again. Um, and if that still won't uh, adjust all the way, you can tighten this up in a little bit, and this will tighten up the spring a little even tighter. And this is this this is that nut on the bottom of the engine. There's there's a flathead screw on the end of it. And this is the aluminum washer, and this is the cu the cap. Okay, I believe we're ready to split the case now, and I'm going to support the engine on this two by four and this four by four back here so that we don't damage these two shafts. And I'm using this 2x4 so it'll squeeze in here and there's a dowel here I don't want to damage so I want to miss the dowel. The next step is to remove these screws around the, um, the right side case. Okay, and screws are out. There's um, nine of them. Looks like they're all the same length. so. We confuse them. Some of them, have some, some of them have a bunch of white crud on them. I don't know if that's some Loctite or what it was. But we have to clean that off. Now I'll try attaching the um, the uh, crankcase splitter that I ordered from eBay. The case splitter is attached, so let's um, start trying to turn it down. Actually, let me move the camera to where you can see the case split. Okay, here goes. Yeah, it's splitting. Evenly though, it's more on this side, so I'm going to re readjust it. from this gear here. It's the right size. And I can see a spot where it's dry. Okay, here's what it looks like inside. Okay, <coughs> on the right hand side case, I don't see any other moving parts except for one bearing right here for the transmission. It looks like the crankshaft bearing came off with the crankshaft. See, it's on the crankshaft. Okay, now the crankshaft and the uh, transmission assembly should just lift off. Um, before taking the transmission assembly off, though, you need to take off this piece here. It's on the uh, the other end of the uh, shift drum is screwed in with it. There's a, these screws here and there's a washer. Okay, there's the uh, a crankshaft. Let's see if we can get this out. It should all come out in one piece. Put 
Well, it all comes out. Maybe not one piece. Okay, that's it.